Hohen Tübingen Castle in southwest Germany. In 2019, host to a very special exhibition. Inventions of the 15th century, built from the sketches made by Leonardo da Vinci. The Renaissance man preconceived the Industrial Revolution, the replacement of manual labor by machines. He is a revolutionary of the present. Machines that think for themselves are the focus of Bernhard Schoelkopf, physicist, mathematician, and computer scientist. We already have machines that can learn to detect patterns, but we do not yet have machines that can think. To develop these is the big challenge. At the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Tübingen, its co-founder, Bernhard Schoelkopf, and his team work on algorithms that make machine learning possible. This kind of programming is already part of our everyday lives. The codes help to identify biometric data such as fingerprints or faces of millions of people. They help internet providers to present content according to the user's consumer and social habits. This form of intelligence is part of the speech-based assistance in smartphones. It is the artificial intelligence, AI, of the present. Bernhard Schoelkopf wants to take AI to the next level. His goal goes beyond machines that detect patterns and filter vast amounts of data. He plans to make robots that can interact with their environment intelligently. The AI systems that currently perform well are almost always trained to deal with Internet data. That means hundreds of millions of test samples. The problem for our robot is that it has to learn in the real world, and there it encounters only a limited amount of data. So the machine must generalize from a very small data set, a challenge we have yet to overcome. It's a long way from the concept of self-learning robots to their realization in the real world. That's why Bernhard Schoelkopf studies the underlying principles of intelligence. <laughs> this robot's arm's task is to move a cube no matter where it happens to be. When turning a concept into reality, problems often only show up well into the actual development of the real thing. What may look feasible in Leonardo's sketches is not always functional in real life. Artificial intelligence has left the realm of theory. Self-learning machines already exist. These cameras are the eyes of a robot that is trying to learn how to play table tennis. First, the team focuses on training the arm to hit and return the ball. Thanks to its computing abilities and complex programming, the robot learns to distinguish between various angles and ball speeds. Artificial intelligence responding to its environment. Truly intelligent systems, like humans and animals, interact with the world around them. Our intelligence was made for that. This robotic model is a very simple scenario that allows us to investigate the processes involved. There is perception and acting, in this case hitting a ball. In the long run there could be interaction with another intelligence, two robots playing each other, even strategic planning as one of the many factors of intelligence can thus be investigated. These two artificial muscles move another robot arm hitting a virtual ball. Just a game designed to help understand machine learning? As harmless as these experiments may seem, Bernhard Schoelkopf is shaping the world of tomorrow, a grave responsibility. Robots have already replaced many human factory workers. Will intelligent robots soon take over our offices as well? AI, dangerous risk or beneficial opportunity? 
Artificial intelligence is able to interpret our habits. It scans for anything unusual in our social lives. AI can calculate the risk of us getting sick and provides information on our credit rating based on our financial transactions. AI is the mother of all weapons in digital warfare. Da Vinci's revolutionary ideas included many concepts for more efficient weapons. Where will the AI revolution lead us? As with any technology, there are risks and benefits. But when we look at the history of humankind, in most cases the benefits outweighed the risks, and I hope this will also be the case for AI and machine learning. The enormous potential benefits of AI are illustrated by this experiment in the field of medicine. A healthy test person controls this robot arm. He tries to pop as many balloons as possible on the screen. While doing this, his brain waves are measured. This enables the researchers to recognize which brain areas are involved in each movement. The goal is to detect brain patterns that could result in algorithms for personalized brain stimulation, enabling paralyzed patients to once again perform movements. There is another field of research outside his daily work in which Bernhard Schoelkopf employs artificial intelligence. On the roof of the Max Planck Institute is a telescope Whenever time allows, Bernhard Schoelkopf likes to gaze into the expanses of the universe, combining his interest in stars with the possibilities opened up by AI. In particular, the detection of unknown planets outside our solar system. When looking at pictures of billions of stars, AI can detect changes in their brightness when a planet crosses in front of them. Perhaps one day, AI can help us find a kind of second Earth somewhere out there. Artificial intelligence revolutionizing our world. This lawnmower robot outside the Max Planck Institute may not be particularly bright, but the groundbreaking findings made by Bernhard Schoelkopf in the field of machine learning will certainly pave the way into the future. But does that mean we should let machines run our lives? I enjoy new technologies. Whenever something new is happening, I want to try it out. But I also enjoy the quiet and time away from it all. So I hope that even with all the new possibilities, our freedom to take some time out will not be restricted. I believe in a way this defines us, having that freedom and wanting to keep it. Bernhard Schoelkopf, a pioneer of a new era.